Hey, peace. Peace, everyone. I'm going to just do this real quick because I'm noticing there's a little misconception going around. A brother asked me the other day about Leopold and the connection and their connection with the Moors. So the conception is or the misconception is that uh, the soldiers that were in Leopold's forced public army uh, were Moors because they wore fez. Uh, it's been it's it's something that's been put out there by SETI. By Young Pharaoh, uh, all these, you know, R R B G type guys, they they put this misconception out. People hear it, they don't research, and they believe it's true. So let's quickly look at who the false public are, and let's just look at some people who wore fezes and hear a little bit of the rhetoric um, from Seti and Young Pharaoh, uh, and just let's just dispel all the um, myths. All right, so real quick. In the street, and they won't talk about Seti etiquette. That's right. My etiquette and babies out here dying in the street. Right. Our sisters out here ain't even got no man. I guess these out here just doing I guess these brothers are supposed to be Moors too, right? No. Let, let's do it the other way. Let's go to Young Pharaoh, because Young Pharaoh said there's two types of Moors. With the genocide of African people on you said it right a Arab and then you have what you call the historical Moor. So we talking cause you got two different Moors. Here we go. You got the Moors of the Moor Science Temple. From no that that claim noble Jew Ali, and then you have what you call the historical Moor. So when we talking about the historical Moor and and people trying to claim Islam, or y'all get confused about are they Arabic or not? This is where the confusion coming in because the Moors were first conquered by the Arabs and they aided and assisted the Arabs, and then when the Dutch and the Spaniards started to conquer parts of Africa, the Moors helped them too, and then when the Europeans started the transatlantic slave trade, the Moors helped them too. And so the, and then when Mussolini and Leopold went to Africa less than a hundred years ago from today and slaughtered a combination, if you combine a body count totally, damn near 50 million Africans, the Moors helped them too. So the Moors have been involved with the genocide of African people on a mass scale, involved in every single race that's ever did it. Starting with the Arab. So I just want to say that so don't nobody think the Moors just started getting their hands dirty when it came to Christopher Columbus. Now, another thing I want to rebut is that to a certain extent, I would like to say this, brother. Okay. So here we see there's the misconception that he, I mean, he, he went into a whole bunch of stuff that I really would like to see proof of all the stuff he mentioned about, about that the Moors did. He just ran off a, a list of atrocities that the Moors did. Not one date, not one battle, not one, you know, no, nothing concrete. But uh, he did mention Leopold. So let me go to them real quick because the, the brothers that were working for Leopold, I guess you can say the historical Moors. Would they say that they're Moors? No, probably not. They were Africans, right? Now, we as Moors, we kind of... We kind of broadly call all melanated people Moors, but these brothers probably would not call themselves Moors. So I don't know why all of a sudden it's okay for Seti, Young Pharaoh, to take a look at some brothers that have to have a fez on and, 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 and happen to have a lot of melanin in you and, and say that they're Moors and that this is why you can't follow the Moors because brothers like this. Let's go to the, let's go to the, um, let's go to the proof. So this is who they are. All right. Soldiers, right? Military force in what is now the De Democratic Republic of the Congo. Okay. So it says the Democratic force. This is where we at. Democratic. A military force in what is now the Congo. Okay, let's keep going. They were conceived in 1885 when King Leopold, who held the Congo state as his private property, ordered his Secretary of the Interior to create military and police forces for the state. Okay? Here they are. Here's the brother right here in the Fez. Here's the brother right here in the Fez. Two force public soldiers at Fort Shinkakasia. Kasa. Sorry if I'm massacred that uh, pronunciation. Okay. They're soldiers. Serving under European officers. 
here it says, serving under European officers, was an ethnically mixed African soldiery. Serving under these European officers was an ethnically mixed African soldiery who eventually became comparable to the British or Imperial German Ascaris. Don't know what that is. Have to look that up. But they were African soldiery. How were these brothers Moors? These brothers were forced. Their hands were forced. They were forced to do um, Leopold's work. Or else their family died. But they, but still, that doesn't change the fact. How were these brothers Moors? Yeah, they were Moors in a general sense. Like, yeah, you a Moor, I'm a Moor. Yo, what up, Moor? But no, they was not Moors. They was not living by the five principles that we live by. Love, truth. Peace, freedom, and justice. What is the problem? Why Why do brothers that live by those principles, five principles, love, peace, freedom, truth, and justice, what can possibly your, be your problem? All y'all are red, black, and green brothers. What is your problem with brothers who live by those principles? Even if the other moors you say was foul, they did this, then we not doing none of that. We live by five principles. Let's get together and let's build. That's it. All of this shit. I shouldn't have to do these videos, man. These brothers was not more. Y'all y'all got to get your scholarship up, man. I'm on. I'm on Wikipedia. This is their uniform. Here, let me let me even take you to where it says it, this is their uniform. The uniforms. Here, I'm down here at the bottom. Of the screen. The uniforms of the old free state remained in use among the false public until World War One. Uniform. Here, look, it mentions the feds. The officers wore white uniforms until 1914, while the beautiful uniform with red trim around the neck and down the front opening, red fez and sash, was phased out during 1915 to 1917. Uniform. It's a uniform for soldiers. This is not a bunch of brothers who was who said, "Yo, we're Moors and we're gonna go bang on some other, some other other Moors because that's what we do." Let's let's come on. Let's 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 be sensible, guys. Peace.